So, we need to talk about this song. What song? Oh, don't you know about what song? This song. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up! Okay, that's enough what? of that. Ah, <sighs> Scuttlebutt. I want to be clear right up front. I loathe this song. This song irritates me on a visceral level. I can't really put it into words how much I dislike this song, but here's a very big but. I was wrong with my initial impression of the song. I do hate it. Don't get me wrong about that. And I do hate it on a visceral level, but uh, when I first saw this movie, and I do actually recommend the movie. It's actually quite good, and Halle Berry is... Halle, Halle Berry. Halle Bailey is phenomenal in it. Just, her performance makes the movie worth seeing on its own. I'll just leave it at that. Anyway, this song, though, when I watched it, my initial reaction was, of course, revulsion. It's like, why is this in here? This, this doesn't fit anything else in the movie it does it's not thematic it, they, we'd learn, if you took the song out you'd lose nothing it sounds horrible just what why is this here Lin-Manuel Miranda what are you doing by the way I stand by Lin-Manuel Miranda he's a hack he had Hamilton I won't take that away from him Hamilton's pretty good but everything else he's done no sorry don't like him but this song in particular. Why do I hate it? As I said, my initial reaction, which I'm assuming a lot of people hate, hear, share, was just plain disgust. It, it sounds awful. Why is it here? Does, what, 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 what? Oh, the, the, now, now the song itself has me imitating it. But, what is actually bad about it? Sure, you can point to the aesthetics of it, like, as I said, it sounds horrible, it doesn't match anything else in the musical, but so what? There are a lot of musicals that have that formula. They have this one misfit character who has a song and it doesn't match anything else in the show and it works perfectly fine. Perfect example is another one of Lin-Manuel Miranda's songs. That would be You're Welcome from Moana. That's one of his songs, and you know what? I actually like that song. It works in the movie, but it has kind of the same problem that this one does. It doesn't match any of the other songs in the film, but no one seems to really hate that song. Why is that? Well, when you think about it, Moana's expectation of Maui, who sings the song, you know, The Rock, or Dwayne Johnson, the song doesn't match her expectations of him. He's the misfit character, so his song doesn't match anything else in the movie. And that's perfectly fine because that fits the character. Now you look at Scuttle. Scuttle is a bird. She's not human or humanoid. She's not of the sea. So... Of course, if she has a song, it's not going to sound like anything else in the movie because everyone else is either human or a fish or some mixture of the two was in the mermaid, but whatever. She stands out. She's the misfit. So, of course, if you give her a song, it's not going to sound like anything else. Why should it? That doesn't match the character. So, I actually said what the problem was earlier. If you take the song out of the movie, you don't lose anything. That's the problem. What do what does the song actually tell us? Oh, Scuttle has heard this gossip about uh, Prince Eric is going to propose to this new girl that nobody else knows. Well, except the audience already knows that Eric has been enchanted by Vanessa or Ursula in disguise. Because the previous scene, 
had Eric on the beach and encountering Vanessa, who was singing with Ariel's voice. So the audience already knows that the gossip is not about Ariel. So for us, this isn't new information. We already know that she's going to be disappointed. So there's absolutely no point in the song. You can take it out and you lose nothing. Ariel still goes downstairs and sees Eric. Eric, well, she doesn't know about the proposal, but she still goes downstairs and sees Eric with Vanessa and then runs off. Okay. You take the song out, that still happens. So, again, the, the problem is a structural one. It's not with the song itself. The song is allowed to be bad. It's allowed to stand out. That's the character. So, let's just say that for some reason, they decide, okay, Scuttle needs to have this song. Let's just accept that at face value, okay? So how can we make this song work in the movie? Here's my idea for how to make it work. Take out the scene where Eric finds Vanessa. We've had the previous scene where Ursula is obviously casting some kind of spell and we don't really know what it is, go straight from that to Ariel waking up with Scuttlebutt. We're done. We're done. The, the rest of the movie plays out exactly like it is. Ariel got, Ariel's excited about the proposal, goes downstairs, sees Vanessa, runs off. Scuttle then later flies by Vanessa's window, hears Ariel's voice coming out of it, and then, oh look, there's that necklace with Ariel's voice in it. We all, we not, we, the audience, find out about uh, Vanessa being Ursula at the same time as the characters. So, it not what, what, it's still a bad song, but it's a purposely bad song. But now, it's not extraneous information. It serves a purpose. It serves us, it serves to let us know, hey, it, hey, there, there's this proposal coming up. So, me, you know, Eric's going to propose to. Ariel, it's got to be Ariel, because we don't know about Vanessa. And we're just as disappointed as Ariel is when we see this Vanessa. We're just wondering, wait, is that Ursula? Is that, is that, was that her plan all along? But we, the audience, might think that, but we don't really know that. And that's the key difference. So there is actually a way to make that song work in the movie. And I think if you take the song out, if you take that scene with Vanessa out, it still saves about two minutes of runtime. And either way, you don't lose anything. So, and actually I'd argue that taking out the scene where Eric finds Vanessa is actually the better choice here. Leaving the song in actually works because it serves the point of making us, the audience, as just as excited as the characters. And then we're shocked at the same time we have this a little bit of additional information that we know ursula is up to something but that doesn't necessarily prove anything so it's actually better storytelling to leave it in but that that's just my opinion and uh you guys can tell me what you think down below and oops No, 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 I I can't do it anymore. Anyway, that's my thoughts. So let me know what you think. And uh, just FYI, I am currently actively working on the debunking video for Neil deGrasse Tyson's two rocket videos. But that's going to take a lot longer to get out. So in the meantime, I'll talk to you later.